The latest version of Subtitle Edit, Subtitle Edit 3.6.13, is officially out. Now, there are a couple of new things, and we look at uh, everything right now. Whisper Speech Recognition, it has been improved, and some there are some few updates. And then there's a Find Replace window, uh, a couple of things here. So let's just open the change log, uh, uh, this particular one here. And I'll just look at the few new things. There's a new subtitle format in Vivo Transcript. There's also Whisper C Translate 2. It's also available. There's also Whisper X. That's also available. And you can add proper case option in change casing. That's also a new option. Add a shortcut for text, color picker. And then we have add shortcut for three seconds forward. That's also available. And also add more MPV preview settings in UI. This is also available. So there's also add uh, a new added uh, command convert param or the teletext only page and there's a number and then there's the add export of ttml smp te tt with inline base 64 encoded png images and also a new uh new settings for web vtt on automage the rest are just some few improved things and this is mostly here for languages you can see this up to this particular section and also the find and replace and then updated whisper cpp to version 1.4 and also whisper const me to 1.11 and then uh, we also have the main text box is a little bit bigger or wider and some few fixed uh, things uh, right inside here so it's up to here these are the others as from 3.6.12 so uh, let's just jump into subtitle edit and this is the latest version 3.6.13 uh, you may need to kind of back up the settings.xml file before you install a new uh, installation because it might do some few things to maybe the settings that you have. Uh, so uh, let's go to options, settings. And what I'm interested in is, is the video player. And these are some new options available here. Uh, what we used to have here is the subtitle preview font name. Uh, and then this. And then the subtitle preview font size. Only that. And that is what you see here. Actually, what I can do is let me use the audio to text whisper and just use const meets faster to generate subtitles quickly for this. So we can see uh, what those things look like. This is what it looks like. So if we actually go to options, settings, uh, video player, uh, you can now set out all these settings. So you can add an opaque box uh, right there if you wanted to have that. But please remember that this is just for preview. Click OK. And now we have an opaque box uh, for your subtitles when you preview. Go back to options. And then video player. And then you can do whatever. Uh, let's say one box uses shadow color. And then you can set the shadow color here. Uh, whatever you want. Uh, I wish there was an, a box somewhere to just click on apply. Maybe somewhere here. Uh, before we get out of this, click OK. And that is what we have. That's highly welcome because you kind of preview how the subtitles might look like if you use the same settings uh, in the settings or for the video player. And this is the MPV video player. That's where we get the subtitles in the video. So that's one of the few new things. Next up, this particular box. Uh, this box is a little bit wider, which is highly welcome. Uh, uh, before it was a little bit smaller, but at least some real estate was utilized here and uh, we got a bigger box, which is highly welcome. Uh, something else that I'd like to comment on is we now have two more uh, models. I don't want to save. Uh, inside uh, this particular audio to text via Whisper. And we had OpenAI in subtitle edit 3.6.12. OpenAI CPP const me. Now we have C Translate 2, which is uh, highly welcome as well. If you click on this, yeah, it may prompt you to install some few things, and I'll show you in a, in a little bit where you need to go to get all that information. And then we have Whisper X, or what is termed as faster Whisper. Not that I, that is that much faster uh, than what we have here. I don't think it's faster than const me. I don't think so. Uh, actually, if I click on generate, let's see what we get here with faster Whisper. As for const me, it took about four or five seconds. This is still processing going on into 11, 12 seconds. So 
In my opinion, it may not be the first whisper, but it also depends probably on the models I'm using. Uh, I'm just using, I believe, the base models right here for uh, OpenAI uh, because this is uh, dependent on uh, Python and the OpenAI versions are on Python. So as much as it is considered the faster method, uh, I believe it takes a little bit longer. I'll not, you, I'll not keep you waiting for this. So we're going to go to uh, the audio to text option and I'll leave this in the description below. Audio to text uh, is a speech to text or speech recognition accessible via video audio to text. Uh, you can make a custom shortcut. So audio to text whisper in a new, is a new experimental speech program framework that works around 100 languages. So this is for whisper and you can now see uh, OpenAI, CPP, Constme, C Translate to Whisper X. Now you can wa use one of these versions and you'll see the original is OpenAI Whisper. If I right click this and open a new tab, it's going to take us to the GitHub repository for this. Uh, and you can see all the different details and how you need to install everything that you need to install right here. Let's go back in here. We have the simplified or optimized version called Whisper CPP. It's written in C++ and uh, you can open this as well. It's available for us here uh, and you can see the, the latest release. Actually, it's version 1.4.2 as of a, of a few hours ago. So this might be updated, uh, hopefully in the beta versions for testing, we get to see what's really new. Next up, we have the GPU optimized version called Whisper Const Me, written in C++. And if we look at it, you can see that this also was updated last week and it's on version 1.1, uh, version 1.11. And then we've got Whisper C Translate 2, also known as Faster Whisper. Actually, I confused that with uh, Whisper X. And then we can open this. Uh, it's also still available here. Latest version uh, as of two weeks ago. And you can see it here and the different installations are available for all of us here to install and see how it works. Next up, we can go ahead and look at Whisper X. This requires Python. And then we can see how everything looks here. And this is Whisper X. And this uh, gives you word level timestamps and diarization, etc. Uh, looks, they say, it's a batched inference for 70x real time transcription with Whisper large uh, model. Probably that could be the, the reason. Accurate word level timings using with two alignment and so on and so forth. And you can see the breakdown right here. So uh, you create a Python. This is just a lot of things. But if you come to this particular section here, uh, right about here, to install and run the OpenAI Python version, you will need the following. You can click on the installation notes right here. It takes you straight uh, to the setup right here for Python. And for Python, Python is actually being used in OpenAI, C Translate 2, and Whisper X. So that is something that you need to take a note of. And then before installing Whisper Python versions, do install Python. And remember to check Add Python to Path. You might also need to install GIT or Git. And then you may need uh, a ma uh, to manually uh, download uh, links for Open Python. And this we have the tiny base and so on and so forth. So the requirements uh, vary depending on Whisper engine and model. The large model can require up to 16 GB of RAM. Whisper CPP or Constme requires a newer CPU with AVX instruction set. If you do not want to install Python, PathView has a Whisper OpenAI and Whisper Translate compiled binaries right here. Note: a Whisper log is written to the file error underscore log dot text in the SE data folder. Press Control Alt Shift D in the SE or subtitle edit main window to open the SE data folder. So those are the different models of Whisper available and the different installations. So you need to install Python and then check add path to Python, uh, Python to path. And then you may also need to install Git so that all these different commands that you're installing here and uh, all these commands right here, which are pretty simple to install. Uh, let's see. 
they're pretty they're pretty pretty simple uh, to work with uh, this looks a little bit complicated but it's pretty simple but for whisper uh, CPP uh, especially for this one uh, the installation is flawless because it's based on CPP as are the same for uh, this one uh, whisper const me is also very very simple to work with that uh, as for this one this is C translate to you have this particular installation command that uh, you run on CMD and then just install it once you have Python and git so you just do that if it's not available it's going to look at everything if it finds it it tells you hey uh, it's available uh, there's a new release of PIP you can update this if you want really depends on that so I feel that uh, that's a good kind of overview of the latest subtitle edit 3.6.13 and mostly it was based on things like whisper improving how it works uh, and then some few minor changes uh, to the UI and everything uh, so see what happened because I'm assuming it's because uh, there's some few things I need to install for this particular version of whisper that I set out to use that is the whisper X I believe there's some few things I need to install that's why it gave me the no text form but simply put that's what's new in subtitle edit 3.6.13 I hope this video is of value to you thanks for watching